So this is my VR gallery at this moment in time. I'm just testing out what it looks like in a VR headset and how you navigate around using teleportation. So my first instincts is it is quite a lot of information. Very eclectic. Um, a lot, bit of a sensory overload to be fair. So something I may need to look at when actually designing as this is only a prototype, but there's so much going on that it takes your eyes um, and you don't really know where to begin the journey. There's no visual pointers that point that out. So it's kind of just look and experience. So here is first sort of work that I did in the first year. Here's some of my original concept design that I was designing for a friend. This is um, one of my video packages I designed for my streaming service that I did as Deadly Bullet. That is the streamer I am. This is interesting. This is a video project I was doing f as for last year called Real Me. Um, and it's kind of written like done as a biography kind of like you know documentary. Hi, my name's Chris Fallow. Let's get down to the brass tacks. Let's get down to the real me. God. <laughs> this is I know you didn't weird. want a shot from being in the, the computer. Yeah. You wanted a shot of the world. Well, this is my world. So this is kind of like People my hell don't know, but I actually suffer from mental health conditions and depression, low self-esteem, anxiety. And um, I actually don't go outside very often. It's just, so yeah, it's, it's a bit sad. Um, okay, so here's an image that I drew on Illustrator, um, part of my VR, working to learn, work with VR um, art. Drew on Illustrator and then created it over here. Oop. We'll get to that bit in a second. Over here on Gravity Brush. Now, as you can see, you can do quite interesting things with 3D art, but you can't do in the 2D perspective. You can go inside and go behind, and you can work on the different levels of depth and layers and actually be in, in the art itself and experience it. Um, my main problem is the way it is set up at the moment, I've got it obviously not inclusion. So when I went inside it, it disappeared. In the actual program, it's not how it works. You can actually be inside Gravity Sketch. You can go inside that and go between the different layers and experience the art as it's meant to be. But as this is just a gallery, but that may be something I need to take into consideration. Here's um, another art piece I did on, let me just navigate, on um, Open Brush. What I have noticed is when you're actually in the VR space, these pedestals are too tall. You can't really appreciate the uh, the environment as well. Oh god! And again, navigation. Maybe possibly because I'm new to using VR. I don't quite understand the teleportation. But anyway, let's get to let's get to this piece. So what I've done is I've uploaded the image behind it from Gravity Sketch because when upload when when taking the model not Gravity Sketch Open Brush you don't get all the textures for the texture brushes which is a shame something that I wish you could do because as you can see in the background on this video again maybe the way I've presented this making it difficult to see it. So, again, another consideration I need to think is how I want to portray the videos behind or have it maybe underneath or on the side. Um, because it's very hard to actually look at the video itself and the art at the same time. They kind of overlap each other. Anyway, back to another... Um, exhibition I did was this bike. Now I made this in Gravity Sketch and then took it into a 
program called Substance Adobe Substance Stager and textured it and added in the rubber in texture on the wheels and then cleaned up the model itself, took out some of the framework and then we did some high-vis renders of it which look very effective in here. As I say, overall, the gallery... Oh, this is my favourite part, though. This is, this is the only possibly coherent story. You've got the logo that I designed there. You've got some of the, the initial sketch work, the wireframing in Maya, the model that I made, you know, the landscaping the environment, the actual video playing behind the piece, a lot bigger, so you can see what's going on. And then I've got the 3D model. This concept definitely helps to um, relay what the project is. So unlike this idea over here, where you can't really understand and take in um, what the project is, because you can hardly see it behind. So that, again, is a consideration I need to to understand when designing my final gallery. Here's again just some 2D animation work and some stop animation work that I did last year. So this is basically a gallery of my uni life and what I've worked on at uni and other parts of myself as a developer. But what, what does it actually tell, say about the designer? Where is the narrative? That's something I do need to think about. The narrative of the experience. What is the point of the journey? What am I trying to get across? Anyway, we'll be exploring that in the development stage of the project.